Hallelujah family, God bless you. You welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you're coming across my channel, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that the Lord will use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God and to help you know God even better for yourself in the name of Jesus. So please become a part of our family by subscribing to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh word you will be the first to know and to all my returning subscribers god bless you i love you so much you are always in my prayers you are always in my thoughts god bless you the lord dropped this word in my spirit he says someone tried poisoning your mind someone tried poisoning your mind and what happened to you was that you had a conflicting thought going on because you listened to someone you were not supposed to. And so you had a conflicting thought going on. You did not know what to believe. You did not know how to react. It was fighting everything you know. But what saved you was the word of God you have in your spirit. You see, the reason why we study the word of God is because everything that you hear, you've got to pass it through the lens of the word of God. What does God say about this situation? What does God say about this? It's so amazing that there is nothing that you can't find in the Bible. Everything you need, every challenge you're ever going to face, every situation you're ever going to find yourself in, so the Bible has something to say about it. So whenever someone comes giving you advice on, on anything, pass it through the Word of God. Ask yourself, what does the Word of God say about this particular circumstance? What does the word of God say about this situation? It's going to help you judge right. Because we have people who are ready to mislead. We have people who are ready to, you know, to spoil your mind concerning, be it relationship, be it your career, be it your job, whatsoever it might be, even your family, how to run your family, the decisions to take, whether to be in a relationship or not. If all of those things are in the word of God. Do not let people poison your mind. Always go back to the word of God. My father always says, whenever you have a conversation with someone that contradicts the word of God, that is against the things that God says, it's going to take a lot of time for you to correct that mindset. So what do you do? Number one, don't open up yourself to people who you do not think they have values to give to you. You're not, nobody strong enough. If you are at the wrong place at the wrong time, you're going to get the wrong information and it might mess you up forever. I pray for you. Maybe you listen to someone and it poisons your mind and right now your thought pattern has been shifted on a subject matter. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let there be a purification of your mind. Let there be a purification of your thoughts. You know the Bible tells us, tells us what to even think about. Whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is true, whatsoever is of good report, if there be any virtue, Think on these things. Those are the things you're supposed to dwell your mind on. Not on negativity. Not on negative report. That is not the kind of thing you want to see in your life. So ponder on whatsoever is true. Whatsoever is is um is praiseworthy. Whatsoever is going to help you if it's of good report. If it has virtues. Those are the things you're supposed to ponder on. Do not let the devil infiltrate your mind and poison it. Because when you get into a ditch, he's going to... You know, leave you alone to handle your mess. I pray for you. Whatsoever mess you've gotten into because you listen to the wrong people, may, but may God by his mercy take you out of there in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever mess you've gotten yourself into by listening to the wrong people, may God deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I pray for you that the Lord will bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, that he will be gracious to you and give you peace. Peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus' 